Hello everyone! Thank you very much for watching today. Today is Tuesday the 8th of March and today, it's, I'll keep it short because every day I talk to many agents and we go over ideas and brainstorm and thinking and what to do and leads and how to get busy, how to get busier, how to find business. And I always say this, it's the simplest and hardest job out there i think simplest and hardest at the same time so it's it's like this uh every agent can get business today you can get a, a business today you can because every single person out there will buy or sell a house will live in in something either they're renting or they're buying that's it right i mean uh unless they're in prison i said don't call prisons for 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 leads but maybe they get out they need a place to stay but okay got off on the tangent there but so i tell there's no business where it's that easy to go where can i find customers anybody anybody you just talk to people it's a, this is a contact sport anybody and not even just ohio pick up the phone call your friends your family your people you went to high school college with that live in other states and let them know you're in real estate and that you could connect them with an agent in their area and earn a referral fee for it you don't have to tell them that but you tell them you're helping and uh on that so anybody buying a house anywhere in the country, you could earn a dollar on. Now, here's the hard part. How are you going to get in contact with them? How are you going to network with them? How are you going to stay in touch with them? Because you can't convince them to buy or sell today. They might not need it till next year or the year after or 10 years from now and how to find out how you should stay in touch with them. Do you want to know another reason why? I know that there's agents are not, as a whole, as realtors, at, with one over 1 1.5 million realtors in this country, why we are not doing a great job of that? Because other agents could get business. You talk to someone, you go, who, if you buy a house today, what are you going to do? And if they don't say, I'm going to call John Smith, Jane Jones, if they don't have a trusted real estate person that is on their phone, go, I will, I, oh, if, you, if I buy a house today, I'm calling Jane Jones. She's right here on my phone. I can find up her number. She texts me once a, a quarter. She emails me. She calls me, and I've been in touch with her for the last five years. How many people are going to say that? So few. And there are still agents and companies and people that are still relying on buying leads. You know what buying leads is? Is people that don't have a realtor that's been following up with them go on Zillow or Realtor.com or some other website or a company website. And they're emailing. They're basically, while they're typing, in between what they're saying, I would like information on this this home basically they're saying i don't have any realtor that ever called me and never followed up with me and doesn't know who i don't know who they are that's what's happening out there every realtor that's getting a listing or a buyer from someone that they is not on their database that is a referral from that's not someone that they actually called in the past name talk to many Agents, even yourself, look at your past business. How many people called you without you calling them? Number one, let me say, if you sell 20 houses this year and more of those people were from people that you just fell across, called you because someone recommended you, saw a sign, saw an ad, something then you are not doing a good job of building your database. When you get to the point where I called and been fought, like following up with this person for 15 years and they're buying or selling today, or this person that is calling me today, I call them 
because they came to one of my open houses a year ago and I've been following up with them. That is when you're doing a great job. And any agent out there that has anybody that's called them and that they haven't been calling with them, then good news is all of the agents they've ever talked to in the past didn't follow up with them. So good news, the agents did a terrible job, especially if you have anybody that has, is not a first time home buyer and you've never talked to, who, who, where's their agent that bought, that sold them the house six years ago? How easy, how easy is it for that agent that sold them the house six years ago to just make a phone call once a year, twice a year, check in on them and say, next time you need to sell. Think about that. If you've been in the business 10 years, how many houses have you sold 10 years ago or more? And go back and check. This might be bad. I'm sorry, don't do this. But that probably got your that probably got your attention. So don't do this because it'll it'll upset you. Go back to all your count your customers 10 years ago. Just start going back through your past customers, if you've been in the business more than 10 years, and find out how many people bought and sold since you sold them a house or sold their house years ago and they didn't use you to buy their new house. I mean, if you take the time to do that, you know, I have agents that find this out all the time because they actually build their database. They go, I'm going back through all my past business. I'm going through back everybody I've ever talked to. I'm building days, I'm, I'm building them. And you know what, what happens? Oh, hi, hi, Jane. Thanks for calling. Oh, yeah, we just bought a new house two years ago. How about your friends and relatives? I'm sorry, I'm not, I was never perfect at this either. Uh, every year, go to a holiday party, Christmas, Easter, birthday parties, weddings. How many times do I run into people, friends, family, go, Oh, yeah, Tony, yeah, we just bought a house six months ago. And then I just, how many times I go to a family event and, or friends and run into someone that told me that I knew just bought or sold a house. And I, because I didn't do a good job and have them on my database and follow up with them and start impounding it into them, into their subconscious do not talk to any other realtor before you talk to me. Call me anytime, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Don't talk to a realtor without talking to me first. So bottom line is I could go on for hours about this, is that this is the simplest and it's hardest thing to do. This is a, a contact sport. You could find clients right now today if you call people, talk to people, or not go somewhere you will find somebody that either they are buying or selling soon or they know of someone buying or selling soon you got to practice those scripts and how to get that information and the, the successful agents just do a better job of that than other agents it's simple as that it's almost as simple as that so please if you want to talk about this more in detail, I have 30 years experience with this. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of agents I've coached over 23 years. Many, many, many successful agents and many, many, many agents that completely failed. You want to know why? And if any coach or any broker or any owner tells you, all my agents I've ever been with, you know, that come with me are rock stars and are successful they're lying and or they haven't they haven't coached enough people because coaching is one thing you have to still do it you have to still do it and can't and no coach could force you real estate coach could force you to do it you know there's no real estate coach or program that you pay for that says i will give you your money back if you're not successful they don't know there's no coach that says just you know, I'm, don't only pay me 
when you hit your goals. They don't because they know a majority of the people will never get there because they just won't do the things that they're being coached and, and, and suggested to do. So think about that. Sorry it was longer than I thought today. But remember, use me as a resource. Call, text, email me anytime. I will set the time aside and we can talk about this more in detail and what you should do and how to do it and brainstorm on ideas to make it easier so it's not like uh, hard and painful for you to do. That's the key, finding the easy and easiest way for you to do this. That's with your personality, your daily life, the things you're interested in, the things you do, you know, personally that's what i like to do is brainstorm on that so okay that's it for tuesday <laughs> thank you for watching uh we'll see you tomorrow on wednesday bye bye